Hey guys, it's Greg. How's it going? Today I'm going to review the MicroMasters program in statistics and data science offered by the Massachusetts and blah 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 MIT. If you haven't heard of MIT, then you're probably living under a rock, quite literally, uh, because they are pretty much the undisputed leader in academics of anything technology associated. Uh, they're pretty much the best brand name that you could get. Uh, and of course, there's other brands that are great as well, like everyone knows Harvard and stuff like that. Uh, but MIT, probably the clear winner. So the fact that they're backing this and it's offered by them is incredibly valuable. Uh, by the way, if you do want the link to this to follow along with me, it is in the description down below. Uh, and OK, let's get into this. So it's a micro master's program. What does that mean? Well, uh, what's a micro master's? Well, it's clearly not a master's. Uh, if it was a master's, they would call it a master's. Uh, so why is it micro master's? Well, five graduate level courses. OK, well, graduate means like master's. And so it's pretty much like those courses, except you don't get a master's. You get their micro master's certificate. Uh, what's the difference? Well, mainly in you know how ac how academics and companies respect that uh, versus like an actual master's uh, and of course the cost. So $1,700 Canadian, uh, I don't know exactly what that is American, but probably like 1400 something like that. Um, and so that's inexpensive compared to, uh, you know, of course, a master's or, uh, you know, bachelor's degrees, any sort of degree, especially if you have to do uh, pay international tuition. This is an absolute, uh, you know, fraction of those costs. Uh, of course, you're getting a, a fraction of the value as well. If you have a real master's in MIT, uh, you're a good candidate anywhere for, for most things, or at least most things in your field. Uh, but if you have a micro master's in MIT or at MIT, you don't get quite the same credibility, uh, but it does still hold a fair amount of value. Uh, I personally don't know, uh, haven't met a lot of people that have done this, although it is uh, rather popular. I haven't met that many different people, uh, but you know, it does hold a lot of value. It's backed by MIT. It's great courses, which we'll see in a moment. Um, and instructor led assignments and exams do have specific due dates. OK, so it's not like Coursera and they just kind of keep, you know, pretending that you have a, a deadline, uh, but you really don't. They'll just kind of keep moving it. It's, it's just for your own sanity uh, and keeping on track. So this takes one year and two months and 10 to 14 hours per week. And uh, that's a you know, it's not too much time. It does take enough that you have to be thinking about it relatively consistently. Uh, like you can't just do this like once a month or something like that. Uh, it's pretty much like, you know, they're assuming you probably have a day job and you work like nine to five or eight to four or something like that. You know, you have dinner, you know, do what you need to do. And then in the evenings or maybe early in the morning, you would spend, you know, a couple hours on this it is probably what they have intended for that. Of course, as long as you hit the, the assignment deadlines, you're free to do pretty much whatever you want. But that's probably what they're intending. OK, so before we go into this stuff, what you will learn, it's pretty much what you'd expect. But uh, of course, I will go into all of that stuff. Uh, program overview. We have to go in first. Don't worry about that first blurb. They're basically talking you into this. Um, and well, OK, I do want to worry about this, what they're calling the MicroMasters. So this MicroMasters program in statistics and data science is comprised of four online courses. So online, virtually proctored. Uh, proctored, if you don't know what that means, basically means they're, they're making sure that you don't cheat. Uh, a virtually proctored exam that will provide you with the foundational knowledge essential to understanding the methods and tools used in data science and hands-on training in data analysis and machine learning. You will dive into blah, blah, blah. The program certificate can be applied for admitted students towards a PhD in social and engineering systems through the MIT Institute for Data Systems and Society or may accelerate your path towards a master's degree at other universities around the world. Anyone can enroll in this MicroMasters program. It is designed for learners that want to acquire sophisticated and rigorous training in data science without leaving their day job, but without compromising quality. There is no application process, but college level calculus and comfort with mathematical reasoning and Python programming are highly recommended if you want to excel. All of the courses are taught by MIT faculty at a similar pace and level of rigor as an on-campus course at MIT. Let me read that again. All the courses are taught by MIT faculty at a similar pace 
and the level of rigor as an on-campus course at MIT. This program brings MIT's rigorous, high-quality curricula and hands-on learning approach to learners around the world at scale. What's that mean in a nutshell? This is difficult, okay? This is something that is actually hard to do. And uh, that's awesome. That means they're teaching, you know, in depth. They're they're being serious about testing you and making sure that you know this stuff and making sure it's important stuff and taught well. All of that stuff from MIT, it's gonna be here. Okay. Uh, the difference is that it's not a master's degree. They say it kind of helps you in pursuing a master's degree, uh, but it's not a master's degree itself. You of course get this certificate, uh, which is uh, very valuable. Okay, so in terms of credibility uh, and just the level of rigor that they're going to apply here, really good. They can uh, they can enroll, so anyone can enroll in the program, and it's designed for people that don't want to leave their day job, and there's no application process, but you should have college-level calculus and comfort with mathematical reasoning and Python programming. Okay, so what does that mean, uh, especially for those of you that uh, follow my channel a lot? Thank you so much if you do that. Uh, that would be the Duke University Mathematics course. Uh, I would probably start with something like the, the IBM Data Science course or the uh, as well as the like Python for everybody. Something to make sure you have pretty good Python skills. Mathematical reasoning, I would take the Duke University course. Uh, from I'm talking from Coursera, by the way. Uh, and so college level calculus, probably, yeah, college level calculus. So I would probably take the uh, mathematics from machine learning course by Imperial College London as well. Uh, so in terms of my pathway, I would take the Duke University math skills to get uh, bumped up, uh, either the IBM data science or the Python for everybody course, uh, and then the, uh, the mathematics from machine learning to make sure you've got the calculus uh, and you know, linear algebra skills here, okay? Uh, yeah, they don't. I don't think they say the word linear algebra, but I'm pretty sure they mean uh, linear algebra skills as well. Okay, uh, so you do have some prerequisites there. You can't just jump into this and start learning. It's going to be difficult, and it, they will be serious about you really needing those prerequisites that they discussed. With that stuff out of the way, uh, just to give a brief summary uh, for those of you that are probably going to you know leave the video now, I am going to go very far into the discussion here. Um, but uh, for those of you that are going to leave the video now, I think it's great. I think it's uh, inexpensive compared to tuition. But of course, this is a lot of money. Like if I were to pay this right now, I would be sad. If many of you abroad were to pay this, I suspect you would be sad. Uh, and, you know, that's fine. Like they're MIT. What do you expect? Like they're not going to give stuff out for free. Uh, they're not going to put their brand name on something and not charge for it. Uh, this is certainly inexpensive compared to, you know, tuition, uh, you know, like university degrees, all that stuff. Uh, but it's still something to really, really consider before you get started on this. That being said, for the credibility that you get associated with this, the credibility seems pretty awesome. I have not taken this and I have not not, I do not plan on taking this. I will now review the actual material involved and know that I'm reviewing it from a, uh, a point of view of looking at what they're talking about, understanding the topics, and not from the actual delivery of the material, which I promise will be good. It's MIT, uh, but I'm not reviewing that portion. Okay, taking a drink. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, and uh, yeah, where is it? So, uh, can you see it? Yeah, there we go. Subscribe and drop a like. That's a really good idea. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got that stuff out of the way, master the foundations of data science, statistics, and machine learning. Analyze big data and make data-driven predictions through probabilistic modeling and statistical inference. Identify and deploy appropriate modeling and methodologies in order to extract meaningful information for decision-making. So pretty standard data science stuff. Note that they do put the word machine learning. A lot of data science like stuff uh, for some reason assumes that data science has nothing to do with machine learning. They forget it exists. Certainly not with MIT. They know that data scientists know machine learning. 
and as we're going to see down below, uh, such as deep neural networks as well. Okay, but we'll get there in a moment. So analyze big data and make data-driven predictions through, I just read that, didn't I? <laughs> Did I? I don't even remember. Big data stuff, uh, analyzing data like SQL, uh, visualization, that type of thing. Uh, develop and build machine learning algorithms to extract meaningful information from seemingly unstructured data, learn popular unsupervised learning methods, including clustering methodologies and supervised methods such as deep neural networks. So machine learning uh, in, in, in general, machine learning. Uh, and of course, it will prepare you for many job titles like data scientist, data analyst, BI uh, analyst, systems, systems analyst, data engineer. Uh, so that's pretty common. Those are all the common job titles associated with this. Some are harder than others. Probably data scientist is the most difficult, but uh, you know, my recommendation, of course, because it's awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, many of those would be great as well. So uh, do I think that this, after taking this, you would be ready to get these jobs? I'm sure that's going to be a question many of you are asking. If I take this course, can I become this? Taking this would certainly help, uh, but I can't guarantee that as soon as you took this, uh, you would get a data scientist job, uh, but it would certainly add a lot of credibility. And if you continue to improve your portfolio in various ways, then, you know, it's it's going to, it's all going to help. Uh, okay. I'm not going to read that paragraph. Yeah, we're, we're good there. So you have to complete all Probability, the science of uncertainty and data starts at a particular time. Okay, so again, you do have to actually follow their schedule because this is serious. This is kind of like you enroll in an actual university. Build foundational knowledge of data science with this introduction to probabilistic models, uh, including random processes and basic elements of statistical inference. Okay, so a basic course in probability, basic as in, you know, common and, and usual, uh, and not overly interesting, most likely, but, uh, you know, it, it would be very rigorous as well. Probability in particular, uh, especially some of the topics I know they go over. I'm not going to view the course for all of them, uh, but uh, I happen to know that they talk about something called, uh, where is it? What you learn. Show more. Okay, that's not showing any more or any less. <laughs> Show more. So here, random variables, and at the end here, Limit theorems, classical statistics, uh, Bernoulli and Poisson, and even Markov chains, which is optional. Uh, but a lot of this stuff in here is, is very valuable, by the way. I'm not going to go through every single last bit of information here. Uh, but all of this stuff, very common probability, and it would be very beneficial. Difficult as well. Markov chains, you know, I, I re recommend you do this. But uh, if they're going to get into the, the real uh, pro the properties here, like steady state behavior of Markov chains, this is a bit confusing. Absorption probabilities and expected time to absorption. Definitely confusing topics, but is really going to improve you uh, as you know a learner and uh, all that stuff. It's it's pretty helpful. Okay, uh, so I'm not going to go into you know viewing those particular courses uh, anymore. But uh, fundamentals of statistics. Develop a deep understanding of the principles that underpin statistical inference, estimation, hypothesis testing, and prediction. Okay, so it's going to talk about confidence intervals, uh, probably generalized linear models, linear models, uh, and and confidence intervals. And I, I said that, but I mean generalized linear models uh, with their confidence intervals associated with that, uh, and you know all, all sorts of stuff that pretty much every statistics course, sorry, pretty, all stuff that pretty much every statistics course uh, is going to go over. Uh, especially at the graduate level, it's going to go a little bit more in depth. And so you do probability so that you can kind of learn the fundamentals of statistics, because that's really necessary first, then you can do statistics. And a lot of this stuff is going to be uh, immediately applicable, like the confidence interval, like AB testing stuff, uh, immediately applicable. And especially if you go and use that knowledge to do machine learning with Python from linear models, uh, most of this stuff is linear based, um, to deep learning. Okay, so an in-depth introduction to the field of machine learning from linear models to deep learning and reinforcement learning as well uh, through hands-on Python projects. Uh, I actually really do want to view that course. I, I'm not too concerned with the statistics course, uh, but to take a look at this, it is, uh, yes, okay. Blah, 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 representation, overfitting, all the common machine learning stuff, different problems you can solve, different algorithms for solving it. A lot of words there, sorry for scrolling, scrolling through. Uh, 
There we go. Okay. Linear classifier, separability, perceptron algorithm, maximum margin hyperplane, loss regularization, blah, blah, blah. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, recurrent neural networks and recurrent neural networks. I'm pretty sure what it meant to write there is convolutional neural networks and recur recurrent neural networks. Uh, I think that was a typo. Uh, and yeah, really in-depth machine learning and deep learning stuff with some great projects that are immediately applicable. So I love that. Uh, I think they do a great job there uh, in terms of the material they cover. And let's go into the next one. Capstone exam in statistics and data science. So that's going to be tough. It's a proctored exam. And yeah, it, it, that will not be super easy to get through. Sorry, I'm getting a call for some reason. Decline that. <laughs> um, select one, data analysis in social science, assessing your knowledge and statistical modeling and computation and applications. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm not really going to go too into that, uh, but there's one of those two courses that you could take there, either from a social science point of view or more into computation. I, I think many of you would take the computation computation one. Okay, so this is pretty much what, uh, what you think it is. It is a very all-encompassing, rigorous degree from... MIT. It is not a master's. Uh, you don't get the same level of credibility, but you still get a fair amount of credibility with this certificate. It's, of course, inexpensive compared to international tuition, but uh, uh, still a lot to the average person. And uh, it takes about a year. You you could be in your job at the, the same time, work on it in the evenings. Uh, you know, you'd really have to work hard for this. Like this is this is going to be pretty hard and rigorous, uh, but it's it's going to be worth it if you if you want to get the certificate. I can't really say one way or another whether I would recommend it or not. It uh, it really depends on what you're willing to pay. If this is a uh, if this seems like the type of situation that you're in, where you're you know you think that you want some sort of higher level degree, but you don't want uh, you know to do bachelor's, master's, traditional programs, uh, but you are willing to pay something like this and stay in your day job, then this could be a great option for you. The uh, you know backed by MIT, really powerful credibility, and the material is great. It would be great. Okay, uh, so that's my review. I hope you liked it. If it helped you out, please drop a like on the video. It really helps me out. I'd appreciate it. Uh, consider subscribing if you're not already. Like, you know, take a look at the videos. You can you can always subscribe if you, uh, you can always change your mind, you know, if, if you figure out you don't want to. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Please have a great day or evening or whatever it may be. And uh, yeah, see you guys. Have a great day.